The Blowfish A2 is a versatile multi-mission unmanned helicopter with a 15 kg lift payload capacity and open payload cabin design, allowing the system to be fitted with a wide variety of payloads such as EO and IR cameras, LIDAR scanners, and other systems. Through its AI module, Blowfish A2 can automatically identify multiple targets in the scene, such as ships, vehicles, personnel and so on. The MPA value of the recognition algorithm is more than 85%, and it can lock and track specific targets, so as to realize the accurate motion throwing. People bought this unmanned helicopter mainly for delivery services in the past. It also can be used for military applications. Today we will look at its application for ground attack ability. Multi-rotors and quad-rotors are equivalent to riding a four-wheeled cycle, and anyone can ride it. It is easier to learn. But you can't fly far or fast. A fixed wing is the equivalent of riding a bicycle, only after enough practice, you are able to fly. However, operating a helicopter is like riding a unicycle. Various movements of front, back, left, and right are all based on one rotor. It can be changed, that is also called variable pitch roll. All the high performance indexes of the helicopter, such as high speed flight, wind resistance, and fly high, are all due to the design of this pitch roll changing mechanism. This is also the most complicated part in helicopter design. I can lift it with one hand. Its maximum takeoff weight is about 40 kg. After removing the battery, rotor and load, the empty weight is only about 10 kg. So a soldier can carry it on the battlefield. This is a three-axis stabilized electric photodetector. There are many lenses in it. This is an ordinary TV camera lens. An infrared camera on top, which can catch targets that emit heat at night. There are two windows on the right for the laser transmitter and receiver. It is used for rangefinder and precise aiming. Installation is very simple, just use four screws to mount it. This is the battery. Loading and unloading is also very easy. Our system is an integrated unmanned equipment for surveillance and strike within a radius of 25 kilometers. Because it is a helicopter, it has better environmental adaptability, and can take off and land anywhere. After an integration with conventional weapon systems, fly to the sky directly above the target to drop bombs. It basically increases the application range of conventional artilleries and mortars with far more accuracy and effectiveness. That is to say, this unmanned helicopter can mount weapons to attack any target within a radius of 25 kilometers. We see these tubes under the belly of the helicopter, which are its weapons bay. In current configuration, it can carry eight 60mm mortar shells for bombing of target. Let's start out as a simple accuracy test. We arranged six sets of wooden boards on site. Nail each group of wooden poles to the ground at a distance of 5 meters between each other. The drone drops bombs from a height of 300 meters above the ground to effectively damage the wooden boards in this area. Good 
这次攻击的效果究竟如何呢？来，请我们的记者给大家做一个近距离的展示。我们来看一下刚才这发弹的这个毁伤效果啊。This board has fallen to the ground. The pole has come loose and has a bullet hole. We can see the fragments of the bomb have passed through the wooden pole. 这个呃, Now there are three tents behind me. A fire in one of the tents was out, but there was some residual heat. We will test whether this drone can find the tent through detecting these residual heat sources and carry out precise strikes. In today's information-based operations, helicopters with advanced equipment can clearly identify which is the real target. All that is, we mentioned early, a black ball so small you can hold it in your hand. Such advanced combat technology is really breathtaking. Now let's take a look at the killing effect of this bomb. Here's a shell tail. It may have entered here. Hitting is very precise. There are many large and small holes in the tent, all caused by shrapnel. Let's take a look at that tent here. The distance between the two tents is about 15 to 20 meters. The tent also has a lot of shrapnel holes. We can see that the splinters have penetrated the tent. How could a small mortar shell penetrate the two tents that were so far apart? Let's look at a normal mortar round. The shell exploded when it touched the ground. Some of the explosion energy was absorbed by the ground. Shrapnel will only fly upwards. The surrounding area is relatively safe. This is why we see the commander shouting the most, while shells exploding in war movies. Lie down, get down, lie down, get down. That's right, lying on the ground reduces the possibility of being killed by shrapnel. However, the shells thrown by our drones explode at a low altitude of 3 meters above the ground. The shrapnels will form a 360-degree killing range. It can be imagined that in such a splash of fragments, it is difficult for infantry soldiers on the ground to avoid being injured or killed by fragments regardless of whether they lie down or not. So how did this shell explode in the air right at 3 meters above the ground? The mystery of this will start with the fuse of the mortar shell. The black piece you see on the head is actually a small radar. It will detect the distance from the target by sending out radar signals and receiving echo signals. We preset the 3 meters threshold distance to detonate the ammunition. Proximity fuse can be detonated without touching the target, relying entirely on the internal radar to detect the distance from the target to determine the detonation point. Install different fuses according to different combat environments, so as to achieve the greatest damage and killing effect. This is what this small team has been working on for years. Behind this, there were countless brainstorming and intense discussions that made the fuse play a huge advantage on the battlefield. 
The unmanned helicopter platform happens to be our entry point. It can give full play to the function of our fuse and ammunition precise distance detonation. The use of this radar fuse can maximize the killing effect of ammunition. Installed a radar for radar fuse provides the possibility for the UAV combat platform to achieve the optimal damage and killing effectiveness. However, to enhance the destructive power depends on the shells. The staff here are rushing to upgrade a batch of shells suitable for this type of drone. The shells turned out to be mortar shells. They have been produced since the beginning of this century and are not considered as smart shells. However, the application of the surveillance and strike integrated UAV has given this old shell a new vitality. Those old stock mortar shells are supposed to be fired from ground launchers. We improved the shape of the shells and added some attachments and radar fuses. Now available for our drones. This is a new mode of cooperative warfare. This gives our troops a new kind of strategic support. The 60mm mortar shell launched by the unmanned helicopter is a weapon suitable for individual soldiers. They are light enough for soldiers to carry. In the battlefield, while exploding, it can be seen a lot of fragments flying out, which is indeed a deadly weapon. We are now better at demonstrating the power of this airstrike by changing the targets. We now simulate a target range with soft objects such as water bottles and balloons. The radius of the target range is about 15 meters. We're going to test whether this shell can hit effectively at this range. Let's see how the target hits just now. All the balloons popped. The water bucket also has obvious bullet holes from shrapnel. 